Hi everybody, all my followers, everybody from YouTube, everybody out there. Welcome to another another one of my videos. And uh, the video I'm going to do here today is to clarify a little bit uh, things on uh, Voxel uh, pin codes. Um, I, I had a user, I can't remember his name now, uh, but I had a user asking me a couple times to make a video for it. So the video is going to be here now. So this is a quite old car, but the, the steps are pretty much the same. Um, and uh, I would like to highlight, obviously, this is not going to work for every single Vauxhall. So have that in mind. So the way you retrieve the codes on this, uh, or the way you get the pin code on uh, Vauxhalls, and I said this already on several replies of people asking me. Um, there is four ways, four different ways to get the pin code. Okay, um, I think I mentioned three on my other videos, but there is four, um, four uh, different ways to get the pin code. And one of the ways is on there. Okay, your Vauxhall and we are only here talking about voxels, okay? Forget about all the other makers, it's voxels at the moment that we're talking about. So for the voxels, you should have a card like this that contains all the information about your car. And you can see the first one, the first line is the VIN number, the second line is the security code. So 6442 is gonna be the security code for this car. Then it tells you the engine type and number, the key, uh, the key number, uh, the radio type and the code for the radio, uh, the serial number, and because there's no CD changer, it doesn't have that or the phones or the phone in telematic. So, but this is the card. It's called the Car Pass, if I'm not mistaken. Let me slide this out. See if I'm. I think it's called the car. Yeah, that's it. It's called the Vauxhall Car Pass. Okay. And uh, here is where you should have. Sorry about that. And this is one of the ways um, for you to obtain the code. The code should be there. Uh, it's true that most of owners, they lose that and then they ended up sometimes um, having to pay to get that number back. Anyway, that is st uh, way number one. Number two, uh, with the correct car documentation, and in the UK you need the V5, um, is the document you need. Um, with the V5, you can go to Vauxhall. Uh, you pay a fee, I believe here in the UK is about £30, uh, and they will give you a new car pass. They will give you another card like that. Um, way number three, you can dump the dashboard ECU. Um, or the dashboard uh, EP-ROM um, and when I say dump what you need to do is um, there is a chip that contains all the information about the immobilizer uh, behind the dashboard you have one in there actually on Vauxhalls uh, nearly every single issue uh, contains the pin number um, but there's only uh, the, the software is out there to calculate the pin or to extract the pin from the dump, uh, they are usually limited to the dashboard, uh, maybe the steering, um, uh, the steering controls uh, ECU, but most of them is from the dashboard. And uh, what the software, what you do is you, with a programmer, look for my videos. Am I going to put a link below uh, for? one or two videos where I actually dump uh, the 
the chips. Uh, there is usually two types. There's a MCU, uh, which is basically a microcontroller, is a processor uh, that contains the EP-ROM within the, actually the same chip. So you need to dump that uh, that uh, EP-ROM. And when I say dump, is extract the information. And you have the other type, which is just a single, uh, the normal uh, EP-ROM. I'll put a link for both. Uh, usually extract the the contents from the MCUs uh, is a little bit more difficult, uh, but it's, it's possible to do. So what you do is you then you extract that information, then you, there's softwares out there, Google it, look for it, you're gonna start, you're gonna find them. And what you do is you load that information into that software and that software knows exactly the positions where the pin code should be and converts those exodus those bytes that data and it shows you the pin um that's another way but obviously for that you need to take the dashboard or whichever you see you're going to remove um and then obviously be soldering wires and these and the other to dump the, the contents from that uh, chip uh, is is a lot of work for just to get the pin code um and then you have the way number four and the way number four is all done through the obd port and uh, and obviously is much much easier uh much more uh easy to do is much more comfortable you don't need to be um dismantling things or anything like that and that's what I'm going to show you. So, as I was saying, this is a 2003 Vauxhall Vectra. Uh, I believe this is the 2.2 diesel. And the first thing we're going to do, and that's a little bit more what this video is going to be, is to show you how to do this using this little interface called CarProg. Okay, I mentioned it a few times on my other videos. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do uh, is although I know which one is there, but just for the purpose of the video, uh, the first thing we're going to do is find out which ECU we have in there because unfortunately, CarProg does not detect the ECUs. You need to pre select the ECU before you actually read the, the EP ROM, which then tells you uh, the PIN, the VIN number, mileage, and all that. So, the first thing we're going to do is find out which ECU we have in there. And for that, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using Opcom. Go to Diagnostics. And I'm going to do a automatic vehicle communication. I strongly believe it's going to be KWP 2000. Being an old car, I might be wrong. Which I actually am. Close because it's not that one. Is that one. Well, it's not going to work if I don't turn the key on, isn't it? <laughs> Still, it's not going to be that. It's going to be that one. High-speed gun. Mm. Why is not powered from the car? Why these things never go right when you are doing these videos? Uh. It's gonna pop. 
I'll run this again. Ah, there is. Okay, so as you can see in there, it's the Vectra C with the engine Y22 DTR, and you have the VIN number at the top. So it's Y22 DTR. So let's gonna go. Actually, we can go straight to diagnose ECM. And we're gonna look in there. Uh, there it is. So we need the ECU information. And this is a Bosch 100 in there. But then you know is a PSG 16. And hopefully we'll be able, with this information, we will be able to uh, do what we're going to do. So, what we're going to do now, that we know what ECU is fitted on the car. <coughs> going to close this. And we're going to connect CarProg. Okay, CarProg is now connected and opened. And we're going to go here on the side. We are going to select ECU. You have other options, but we're going to go to ECU. We're going to go to Opel CAN, as you probably remember. And as you can see, there is a Bosch PSG16 in there. So that's the ECU we're going to select, and you double click. Uh, go on. Okay, not sure exactly what happened. Uh, once again, when I'm doing a video is when things fail. Um, I had to connect and disconnect the car prog again. Let's give me some error. So when you press uh, double click on that, this is the window that comes up. And this is all the options you are presented with. And this is the information uh, the car, the car prog should be able to retrieve. And if you remember from the car pass, I'm going to show you that again anyway. The code is supposed to be six, four, four, two. Um, so in order for us to retrieve this, we're going to press read all info. It tells me how many credits I still have on my car prog. I'll press OK. and is reading the dump. So what this is doing now, uh, but this is doing it from the engine ECU, which you can do as well, uh, is reading the EPROM memory. And when I was saying to you to read the dump, this is how you do it. Uh, but but sometimes you can't do it, you can do it through OBD, through this, but when you want to do the dash, for example, you, you can't do it, uh, because the dash, you can't read it like this. Uh, at least with the some there is some proper tools, some specific tools for some some for some other jobs that you can might get hold of them. But what this is doing now is reading the the EP ROM from the engine ECU. You might be presented with a few lights on your um, dashboard. That is because the ECU kind of goes offline in order to be read. And um, there we have, as you can see. The pin code 6, 4, 
four, two. It's gonna just one more time to show you in there. Six, four, four, two. And now you have your pin code, you have a mileage, and you have a VIN number. You can change your VIN, you can change your mileage, and you can reset the ECU. Reset the ECU is basically uh, clear the code from the ECU, and um, at that point you will be able to program this ECU to another car using the other car's pin code, obviously. So the immobilizer matched and everything works. Um, and that's it guys, that's how you uh, retrieve the pin code on um, on a Vauxhall using CarProg. Um, you can do all these different ones as you can see. You can even do these on the key line as well. You can do all these issues as well. So there is quite plenty of issues where you can retrieve the pin codes. Um, I think that's it. For the for the pin code retrieval, uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this uh, makes things a little bit clear um, for for you guys that have been watching my videos for the um, Vauxhall ECU programming and immobilizer programming and all that sorts of. So I really hope you 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 appreciate the video. Any questions, like always, put them below. Hopefully I've answered most of your questions with this video and like always, uh, thank you for watching.